Hey, this white stuff needs to be everywhere. So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, this on. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator. Not a bathroom. Okay, someone used this as a bathroom once. Well, fuck. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be playing chapter 7 and chapter 8 of Portal 2. This video will not include chapter 7. Please get subscribed if you haven't already in order to make sure you don't miss chapter 8. Last time we took GLaDOS out of uh, her control center uh, and put Wheatley in charge of the facility. And he betrayed us and turned GLaDOS into essentially a potato powered toy and sent us down to the bottom of the factory floor. Now as we climb to top in order to make sure the factory which is burning down doesn't do so and kills us uh, and try to put GLaDOS in charge by taking Wheatley out. So without further ado, let's get started. Did anything happen while I was out? The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on, hold. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? He fried her circuits, I guess. I would have said she fried her brain, but she's a robot. And you might get an idea of who she really was before. They are hinting at like what she is now, but... Mm, I guess boy, I should have said spoiler alert on this. Okay, this is orange. We need some here and put it over here. We are going to need some orange over here. Hey, this is a problem. Uh, we might have switched. Okay, we dodged that orange for the load there. And now we have a big enough runway to jump across the entire chasm. I'm not sure if like if we didn't use the entirety of the thing, you would have enough surface area to get ahead. It's a blue one. Let's launch ourselves up there. And we are going to go. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. Oh, there's the button. I can see it. Okay. 
Okay, I need to make it across there. I almost would have like fallen off the thing, but I guess I was vigilant enough. Well, fuck. Well, things are going too smoothly, so I guess some check was required. Slow me down. I have to line this up perfectly in order to make sure I don't mess it up again. Yes. Listen. Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator. Not a bathroom. I guess someone used this as a bathroom once. If you're interested in an additional sixty dollars, flag down a test associate and let him know. You could walk out of here with a hundred and twenty weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Okay, so what's the thing to do here? I have to jump across to that thing. That's the bouncy bit. Uh, this needs to be turned off with the cube. And where do I get the cube now? Then? Excuse me, the weather has been a bit rough. And I would have sore throat. Okay, so now I have a like, rough idea of how things need to be. Okay, I'm gonna just go there first and right? then figure things out. Actually, there's railings to stand to make sure. I don't mess things up. And the cube. The cube needs to be, I think, over there. Now that place has the thing which I needed. Yep. So, so let me turn this thing upside down, I guess. I think I still need to be over go there and do something. So I'll take a run up from here. Yeah, it's like better if I just show you how I'm going to do things. Uh, I think all the preparations are complete. Yep, In case they you're are. interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. 
So that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. I think they are scooping out the tumors they put in and that's why it's free. Good sell though. If you are like doing this for the first time, this is going to be really confusing. I took me like complete like 20 minutes to figure it out and I did it for the first time. And another 20 when I tried doing it for the second time. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carol and what these people buy. Tattered hats? Beard dirt? He doesn't care a bit about what people, what happens to the people or anything else. He just about like doing this test, these tests, and I guess for running the cause of science for his own profit. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or oh my God! And now she has a realization which you might have had also. I need to think. Okay, I need to get there. How do I get there though? Uh, now I think now I remember how I do this. And let's turn everything on. I don't think you can run fast enough. Apparently, you can. That was unexpected. So, yes, trauma. I need to come out of here like that and jump on that platform over there in order to get to the next thing. Okay. Let's go. From bang on. Welcome to the enrichment center. <coughs> he has gotten sick. Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects uh, has risen dramatically. Picture. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're gonna see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. So I think the Moon being important is kind of important to me in the later stages. I know you have to figure out whether that's true or not. I did like something of a similar level in Portal Revolution recently. 
only like matures. Now the chapter in Portal Revolution was much more complicated than this and took me a long as time to figure it out. Almost hour on and off. Almost half an hour, something like that. Well, I need to get over to that platform. Life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see this life. Manage it. Yeah. Make life rule the day. It thought it could give Cave Johnson God. lemons. Do you know who I am? I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemon. Oh, like I'm gonna get my engineers to Do invent it. a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> He has gone crazy, man. Point is, if we can store music on a compact oh, yeah. disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping, artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <coughs> now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. But I don't know how to pick place where I need to be. That's an orange one. And now we put down the blue one over here. Put down the orange one down when we're going back. Yeah, it's like for me to do this. Okay, that's not this show. I've done this alone and it always takes me a long as time. In order for this to make sense, I need to. Yeah, here it is. On to the next one. I know things look bleak, but that crazy man down there was right. Let's not take these lemons. We are going to march right back upstairs and make him put me back in my body. And he'll probably kill us because he's incredibly powerful and I have no plan. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie to you. The odds are a million to one and that's with some generous rounding. Still though, let's get mad. If we're going to explode, let's at least explode with some dignity.
this thing will take you a while to figure out if you're new to the game. Okay, I think I remember this correctly and I'm where I need to be. Especially considering there is this blue plasma door. Oh yeah. This white stuff needs to be everywhere. Structs everywhere. Now we can jump over here and then we'll cause where we need to be. Finding of the jumps is like the hardest thing. Okay, I think the stick is provides pretty much pretty good guide. Uh, we shouldn't be pressing any key when I'm doing this. Other than the forward one. And letting go of the mouse not well. And we are here. Nice one. I have a hard time figuring out what to pay us up. Okay. Just right. Yeah, I need to put down the orange thing somewhere where I can Wow, I'm all the way down now I think it's only for the best I've gotten fallen I need to get over there. Okay, I might have a place to go. Okay, now I know where I need to go. Maybe that way. 
Let's see. Wait, I've got an idea. Captain okay. Go look at it for a second, would you? Paradoxes. No AI can resist thinking about them. I know how we can beat him. Oh. <laughs> Stance and remain calm screen. That should be the way we should live. First we'll stand still, then we'll remain a bit calm, and then we'll begin to scream. Absolutely perfect. Oh, I was wondering what the hell happened. That big ass door up there is opening, and I need to guess, get somewhere. Okay, I think the left, shadow of the lift coming down, don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. I'm in the right spot, so let's get going. And I think that is the end of the chapter. We'll know as we get ahead. But he's an idiot. Is he gonna get what you're going to say to him if it's too smart? Paradox is bad like for the smart people and he is not smart as you have pointed out okay so it's not the most watertight plan to go confront an omnipotent power mad ai with still it's a better plan than exploding marginally well when you have no well see something is better than nothing and nothing is better than negative i think that's the end of the chapter and then we begin again for the next chapter. Here it is. So, then chapter 7 is over, and let's discuss what has happened so far. Uh, we went through some of the old school cha testing chambers uh, of the 70s, 80s wise, um, as compared to in the previous chapter, we went to 60s, 70s kind of test chambers. The entire factory seems to be shaking due to like. Uh, the idiot was running the place and we are supposed to stop him. We recently crossed a thousand subscribers. Hopefully the number sticks around long enough for it to be valid when I post this video and just doesn't just go away. Please let me know what you felt about the chapter down below in the comments. Do like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one.